students we are happy to have you join us on this exciting journey into the world of computers with binary brains the language of computers grade 6 lesson 1 today we are going to explore programming languages the foundation behind every app website and game that you play we are going to learn about what is a programming language fundamentals of programming languages programming styles different applications of programming languages let's begin with what is a programming language programming language is a unique language that we use to give instructions to computers and devices it is a set of instructions we use to communicate with computers just like we use english or hindi to talk to other people programmers use languages like python or java to give commands to computers and devices now let's understand how computers understand instructions computers don't speak our languages they use computer language called binary code binary code is a series of zeros and ones when you write instructions in a programming language like python or java the computer changes them into binary code so it can understand and carry out the tasks why are these programming languages important let's find out they are important because programming languages create apps websites games and more they bring ideas to life examples python is a beginner friendly programming language javascript is a programming language that is good for web interactivity different programming languages exist for various purposes we will learn a little bit about them later in this lesson moving on we will learn the fundamentals of programming languages syntax syntax means rules that indicate how code must be written for example python has a specific syntax where it uses indentation that is spaces and tabs to define different sections of the code if we don't follow the rules the computer won't understand and show error semantics semantics refers to the meaning of the instructions in the code for example python semantics dictate how the interpreter executes the command ensuring each piece of the code performs its intended function keywords keywords are specific reserved words with a particular purposes for example python has keywords like if while def import etc operators operators are symbols for calculations and operations on data for example in python we use addition symbol to add subtraction symbol to subtract and percentage symbol to find remainders data types data types define the type of data being used and how data can be manipulated for example python supports data types like int that is integer float that is floating point numbers str that is strings and many others control structures control structures help us make decisions and repeat actions based on conditions for example python tools like loops for while and conditional statements if elif else control program flow now let's look at a simple python program to check if a number is even or odd this is a simple python program to check if a number is even or odd in this code if else and print are keywords the term int short for integer defines the data type the if else statement is the control structure that helps us decide whether the number is odd or even 
Symbols like percentage and double equal are operators. Notice the space before the print statements. This is called indentation, which is a part of Python's syntax and is necessary for the code to run correctly. Students, now let's look at three popular programming styles. Procedural programming. Procedural programming is like following a recipe step by step. You write instructions in a specific order and the computer follows them one by one to complete a task. Example, Java. Object Oriented Program, OOP. Object Oriented Program is similar to building with Lego blocks. You create blocks called objects, each with its features and actions. These objects work together to perform tasks. Example, C++, Python. Functional programming. Functional programming is like having a toolbox full of unique tools. You create small, reusable functions, each designed for a specific task. These functions can be used repeatedly to build larger programs. Example, F sharp, Haskell. So next time you write a program, remember you are learning a new way to talk to computers and solve real problems. Now we will learn about different applications of programming languages. Web development. The website you visit to play games or find information are made using programming languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Programmers use HTML to build the structure, CSS to style it, and JavaScript to make it more interactive. Game development. For video games, programmers use languages like C++, and Unity to create the game's world, characters and challenges. This helps bring the fun and exciting part of the games to life. Mobile app development. Applications for mobile devices like smartphones and tablets are developed using specialized programming languages. Swift is Apple's primary language. Kotlin is Google's primary language for Android app development. WhatsApp relies on Erlang for its messaging servers, enabling support for millions of users per server. Instagram is built using Python and Django web framework for server-side operations, leveraging Python's efficiency and scalability. Data science and AI. When you ask Siri or Google a question, Python helps the voice assistants understand and respond. Python is used to analyze data and make smart predictions like answering your questions and recommending music. Software development. The programs you use for drawing, writing or listening to music on your computer are created with languages like Java and C Sharp. These languages help make sure the software works well and follows instructions given by the user. For example, a program like Processing for Drawing Graphics and JEdit for Text Writing can be created with Java, while PaintNet for Drawing and Media Portal for Music are built using C Sharp. That's all for today, students. Hope you had fun learning about programming languages and the fundamentals, styles and different applications of programming languages. Want to test your brain? You can attend a quiz of this chapter on Dattamsh website. Once you finish attending the quiz of all the chapters, you will receive a certificate. Scan the first QR code to visit Dattamsh website or click on the link provided in the description box. 
scan the second QR code to learn how to navigate to assessment page and access the quiz section on the website or click on the link provided in the description box. You can also download this PPT from the Tamsh website. Great job little genius, you have finished lesson 1. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next lesson. Happy learning!